Alright guys, I'm back with another update video. It's been a while. I actually meant to do this video last week, but I got caught up in something. It was a huge mess last Sunday. No big deal though. Um, Alright, so I got some pickups here and uh, I want to get this video done. So I'm just going to get right into it. Okay, first step, we have better watch out. And I got to give a shout out to Leo from Geek Legion of Doom. Because I wouldn't have picked this movie up if it wasn't for watching his review of this movie. Because um, I didn't really care much for it. I didn't like the cover art. But I watched his review and it kind of sparked my interest in checking it out. And I actually really ended up enjoying this one. Which kind of surprised me because I was really excited to see Red Christmas. And when I watched it I was disappointed with that one. But I ended up liking this one a lot. I won't get into the plot of this movie because it's way too twisty. Um, but it does have the two kids from uh, The Visit. And uh, this one comes, this release comes with a Christmas card, so I'll show that to you real quick. There you go, I'll flip it over, which is pretty cool. So, I don't know if that's a, something that's going to always be in that release or whatever. But, uh, yeah, so there's that. Alright, next up, we have uh, Dawn of the Dead. This is the remake from Scream Factory. Originally, I wasn't going to get this one either, but um, I picked up a copy for Grant. And I started doing some research on it, and I found out that this release is actually the true uncut release. Because uh, in the Canada and the U.S. back in 2004, when it hit DVD, even though it was supposed to be the unrated director's cut, it really was still edited. There was a scene early on in the film where there was some nudity, and they um, edited it out, so that's back now. And um, another reason why I had to pick this one up was because um, Heather Langenkamp, who played Nancy in the original Nightmare on Elm Street, I guess she did some makeup effects with her husband on this movie, and she's in featured in one of the special features, so I want to check that out too. So I still need to get my hands on Land of the Dead, which I wasn't going to buy either, but that one has a lot more special features in this release, so I'm going to be picking that one up at some point. All right. All right, now we're on to the TV box sets. And... Ray, we have obviously you can see here that I got uh, The Walking Dead, the complete seventh season. Um, this is the DVD. Didn't bother with the Blu-ray because this was on sale. Finally found a copy during Black Friday, so I scooped it up. This isn't one of my favorite seasons, but I still wanted to have it in my collection because there was some episodes I did like in the second half, and of course the gory season opener is pretty cool as well. Um, I do like that they went with Jeffrey Dean Morgan on the cover as opposed to another Rick cover. Because usually, with the regular releases, it's always been Rick. And this is the first time they've gone away from that. Like, I know they've had special edition releases that had different characters on the cover. Like Daryl for Season 6. But, um, you know, usually it's always Rick for the regular covers. And I like the, the way Dean holds them the back. Alright, uh, let's see here. Next up, we have another movie. And this is Peelers. Uh, this is kind of like a zombies in a strip club. Um, this one I thought was just okay. Um, the problem I had with it was I thought it was going to be um, the people being trapped in the strip club, but uh, it, that wasn't the case. And when the first attack happens, people flee the strip club, but for some reason the staff stick around, which made no sense because the zombies were in the strip club. Um, there is some decent gore in this one, and there's a bit of nudity, so there's that. I'm not, big, I'm not a big fan of this artwork. Uh, I like the original artwork that I saw on some of the posters and stuff, which is actually, you can see a bit there, like the, the, the severed leg on the stripper pole. I thought, you know, yeah, I don't know. This one is just all right for a watch, I guess. All right, and last up, we have Ash vs. Evil Dead, Season 2. We really did enjoy this one, even more so than the first season. Uh, the problem I had with the first season, I felt like they were dragging the stories out too long. Like, scenes that should only take five minutes would take up the whole episode. And this season, it flowed better. It didn't They didn't do that as much. So I always felt that someone should have took the first season and edited it down. It probably would have been a two-hour movie or something like that. And uh, I really did enjoy this one. And I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing season three whenever that comes out. All right, guys. That's pretty much it for now. And I'm hoping that I can probably get another more, a couple more videos before the end of the year. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you all later.